What's up guys? Another day, another unboxing. And this time, we are gonna fill up again this upper portion of the cabinet. Because last time, we uh, Obanai over here. So at least to build up the display on top. So for this unboxing, we will be opening up a statue from Niren Studio. And this is the statue of Tokito, the mist, Hashira. So this looks like a relatively easy build because this is this looks like a small statue so there must not be uh, any heavy parts in it and hopefully not too many parts as well so that we could finish this build as fast as we could so let's begin guys so guys we are greeted with a very nice be very beautiful art box by Niren Studio so uh, here is the art for the statue so the animation that they did or the drawing that they did is kind of consistent with how the anime is like with their very um, unique style of animation or drawing and i also love the color that they used uh, blue green and i'm excited to start assembling this so let's begin so as I mentioned earlier, this I am hoping that this is a an easy build because as you could see, I could carry it the entire start statue with a styro with just my left hand. So this is a very very light statue compared to all the other statues that we've recently unboxed. Okay, so guys, this is the content of the styro and it only contains one layer so all the parts is in just one layer and since this does not uh, include an assembly manual we are gonna take time to tag each and every part and how they are positioned on the styro for reboxing purposes so one by one let's go over the parts so these are some mist um, parts mist and this is his head his body the base please take time to uh, analyze how the base is positioned on the styro this is the another mist part and the body and the head so this is gonna be an easy build because there's not too many parts involved so let's begin so this is how the bottom of the base looks like we have a nice artwork at the bottom of the base and that's it no addition size addition number nothing just an artwork and the base itself doesn't really provide any uh, intricate detailing same with what magic cube studios quality of detailing is so nothing really impressive about this space So this part here should go first on this hole, otherwise we won't be able to slot everything in because these three parts seem to interlock among each other. So first we put on this hole, then this big guy over here, and then the last one. So these three parts interlock each other.
So this is it for the mist effect. So basically the entire statue is I guess 80% composed of this all this mist effect. Now we move on to the other uh, parts which is this I remember that this is the training dummy that Tokito used so he would exponentially strength uh, grow in strength Okay guys, so I think we just bumped into a major, major um, mistake by the studio here, Niren Studio, because I can't seem to find the arms for both this puppet statue and both the arms of Tokito right here. So... Um, I'm gonna run over for the last time one by one all the nooks and crannies and all the paper here if for some reason I really missed the arms but I've already run over this three times and this styro box is also not very big so there's not really many places for any parts to hide so these are the heads so i guess this is really a major mistake by the studio and if ever I will hope and pray that they will um, they will really uh, fix this problem for me and I'll also search the community if anyone else has the same problem with their Niren Studios Tokito but there's the other half of the art box oh I okay okay so guys, <laughs> this is one of the reasons that hopefully the studio would, um, uh, I guess, improve. Because now I am betting that the pieces that I'm looking for is in this hidden compartment over here. Since there's a note here, and I have no idea what this note is all about. I thought this is just a warning note. I didn't really uh, mind this note, but I guess this says that I'm, 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 I'm not translating it. I'm just guessing that this says that there is a hidden compartment here that must be containing all the parts that are missing. So <laughs> I almost lost it. Because I thought that there's a major mistake, but let's find out if I'm correct and I'll take back all the uh, things that I've said that the studio made a mistake. But anyway, let's see. Okay guys, so it's confirmed that all the parts that I thought were missing was in this hidden compartment. So I take, I take back what I said when I said that Niren Studio made a mistake and forgot these parts it's just that it's hidden on the compartment located on the top styro box but anyway I hope that um, studios would at least uh, provide an English, trans English translation to some important uh, notes that they put on their, on their boxes because they should realize that um, most of the collectors are located overseas and not in their local uh, uh, Chinese uh, community. 
So hopefully some studios would uh, provide us with that important uh, note in English translation. But anyway, I'm just thankful that I would be able to uh, finish the statue. And I would also like to note that these are nice swords because they are made of, I think, um, die cast metals. They are heavy. And as you couldn't hear, they really sound like a quality metal. So anyway, let's finish the statue build. So you could also see that in their source they have some engraving so this is a nice touch for the studio to provide this engraving on this small sword. So this broken sword should go on this hand and it will slot onto this hole right here. So I guess all the swords have this engraving on them. So I guess this sword, broken sword again, would go into this hand right here. So we have three more of these swords which would be carried by three of these hands right here. So this is how I place the swords on each hand. I'm just not sure about this one right here. But I guess this works. Next are these smoke effects. So this one goes right here. So that's it for the smoke effects. Next we have Tokito's arms. Okay guys, so that's almost it for this Niren Studios Tokito. And as usual, to top it all off, we put on the head last. And since there are two heads that needs to be placed, one for this puppet and one for Tokito, we put on the head of the puppet first. So this puppet, which most of you must know that this is, I guess, the head that is uh, molded from the image of the first uh, Hashira. I forgot his name, but this is his head. I guess the first user of the sun breathing. So that's the head. Unfortunately, his head is lowered in this position, so if you view him this way, you won't be able to see how they detailed the face. And it's a, such a shame because the face is very detailed and it's pretty good. But that's how it is. So finally, to complete the statue, we put on the head of Tokito last. So Niren did a good job on sculpting his head and getting the 
expression and the features right so this is a really nice uh, portrait of Tokito so that's it guys for Niren Studios Tokito so I had a big scare a moment ago but everything is fine and fortunately there is uh, nothing really bad to comment on this statue instead this is one of the easiest statue that was uh, I've, I've built one of the easiest and the smoothest uh, statue that I've built in terms of how easy it is to assemble and no breakage and the only thing negative that I could uh, comment are the texturing the detailing on the base part is not as good as other studios like for example this rock part is not uh, really a good paint application and texture the mist is okay because it is consistent with how the anime did it they did some texturing on the lower pants of Tokito but on his upper clothes there is no texturing so they were not consistent with that so you could see on the pants there are texture for the cloth but on the upper uh, upper torso there is no texturing it's just a smooth cloth so they should have been consistent with that but anyway this is still one of the nicest Tokito statues out in the market considering that there are two uh, people in one statue and it's a very dynamic pose and it's uh, so overall this is a nice statue produced by Niren Studio so anyway guys this is again Niren Studio's Mobichiro Tokito so hope to see you again on the next unboxing and see you